they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. All right, so, hey guys, we got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest. Y'all know the vibe. Finally, Sugar Hill D dot in the spot. So, um, we're going to play a game, and you just answer the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, what's your sign? I'm a Pisces. What's your favorite color? Black. <laughs> um, three words to describe you. Come on. I guys. don't know. Three words to describe you, bro. Um, I got one funny. Cause you got me yeah, I was just about to say that I'm funny. I got a little temper. Mm-hmm. And one more, one more. And yeah. Um, one more, this bro. Shit like this. Shit like this. Like me being stuck. Overthinker? Yeah. Okay, so you overthink a lot? Sometimes. Okay. Um, celebrity crush. Oh. <laughs> um Cardi B sister. Oh, Hennessy? Okay, okay. Um yeah, that's gonna be my wife when I get older. <laughs> Watch. Watch. Okay, Watch. well um who's your favorite cartoon character? Uh I didn't really like watch cartoon. I watch like realistic cartoon. But like cartoonic, I ain't really, I don't know. Like um, Phineas and Ferb. Okay. All right. What's one song that you hate? I don't know. I really like music. Really. Oh, like, like I'm Dominican and shit, bro. But like, like I hate when I'm like, like, like mad. Like Spanish like, music. Not nah, not Spanish music, cause I love Spanish music. There's nothing wrong about Spanish music. It's just like the reggaeton. I don't know if you know that. It's like yeah, the, yeah, that shit. Sometimes I don't really like hearing that sometimes. Even though I don't got nothing against it, but I'm just saying. Uh, That's not your favorite? Not my type of music. It's okay. To me. What's your ethnicity? Like Puerto Rican, black, Spanish? Oh, I'm Dominican. Dominican, old Dominican? Yeah. Okay. Um, What's your favorite song of all time? Do you have a favorite song? Um, I got a favorite song right now. Like I do, I listen to every day. What's your favorite song currently, right now? Uh, Lil Dirk changes. Okay. Um, who's the best power couple? Uh, Rihanna and Playboy Cardi. She's with ASAP Rocky, bro. Whatever the fuck that nigga is. <laughs> I don't know. You think I'll be watching them? I understand. So that's a nice relationship. But thank you for letting me know. But yeah, that's my son's watching her doing her shit in the Super Bowl. Feel me? Facts. Okay, last one. And one celebrity you want to be stranded on. Well, one thing you would want to be stranded on the island with. Weed, money, and just females. Okay, so that was three. But okay, <laughs> three things. All right, cool. All right, so let's get into it. So what? So when did you start getting into music? Because you've been outside. Like, people don't know. he have been in music videos. D I've been in the mix. So when did the music start? No, I've been outside, but it's <laughs> like I didn't really take the music seriously. I didn't really at first. I was just outside just playing with it. But then like it started getting serious like around like six months ago, seven months ago. Started getting real serious. But I started rapping, like dropping music videos like a year or two ago, I think. Yeah, yeah, like a year and a half. Ago. Yeah, a year and a half ago, I started. I dropped my first video. I think it was we are we are young, something like that. Mm-hmm. So um, so when you got into music, how was everybody perceptive to? Everybody's fucking with it. Not yet. I ain't. It's, it's, I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's if your music trash and your man tell you, he's not telling you because nah, he not trying to make you feel no type of way. If he's telling you, he's trying to make you. So, but that never happened with me. Every every song, my man's heard of mine, they were jacking it. But I'm just saying, like, for the next person, like, mm-hmm. so you think your man's not complimenting, that's basically complimenting you to do better. If anything. 
right? So as long as your friend telling you, so you that friend that's gonna tell them if they music whack. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Everybody needs one of those. So walk us through your first studio session though. Like when you first went to booth, first laid the first track. Nah, my first fucking song was trash, my nigga. My first song was trash, bro. I hate my. I hear my song now from like two years ago to me now, bro. Y'all gonna see a big difference, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was trash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. So, how do you think you got better? You got better with your think your lyrics, your flow. Like, what you think? I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Um, RP, my son, my son Naughty, or something. My son Naughty made me better as a rapper. Mm -hmm. Like, my son would teach me certain shit. Someone would tell me that, yo, you got a rhyme. Someone would t like would tell me, yo, like, not saying yo read a book, nigga. You don't gotta read a whole book, one, but you, like, when you read a book, you learn bigger words. Yeah, and other shit. So. Mm -hmm. You could put that in your rap. My son Naughty was teaching me certain shit. Feel me? And all that. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So um, so he was telling you to read more books. Do you remember the books you started reading? Do you read now or like, just a little bit? Like, I never, like, I used to tell him, yo, bro, I'm not going to read books, bro. I don't want to read a book. Uh -uh. I'm, that's <laughs> like I, I rapping. Like it, that's that's naturally for you. That's something. If that's if that's something you're good at doing, that's a talent. So you don't really need nothing. But like what they was, what he was trying to explain to me is that when you read a book, is more vocabulary and more like bigger words and shit. So that's why, for me, yeah, my son was just putting, and my son made me. Like told me you got a rhyme on. So the way the reason why I'm way better now than before is because of my sonati. Mm -hmm. Um, who else you feel like gave you some tips on music? I know you've been meeting mad people. Man. My son. Uh, yeah, but like people that gave me tip on music. Mm -hmm. Like I ran in, I ran into to hit maker. Mm -hmm. My son gave me mad advice. I ain't gonna lie. Shout out to hit maker. Feel me and. Another person that gave me advice too was was Drake. Drake, um, he told me that I'm a young, I'm a young star. I'm be going far. Where when I ran into him, I was say so. How was that meeting Drake? Like what? what how that happen? Because y'all was in the basketball court in Miami. Oh no, nah, that was that was that was the second day, bro. Oh my bad. So how was the first day? So what happened? No, nah, the first day. That my first that first day was my first day in Miami. Okay. It was me, Dee Dee, mm -hmm. uh, Jay Clicker. I think we J Star was there. Yeah, one. yeah, J Star. Um, and then we was we was in a V. I don't know where we was at. We was having fun though. <laughs> uh huh. Trey Cole, tell tell I right, niggas pull up, pull up. I ain't gonna lie, it was fun. It was go go. Good energy, good positive vibes. Mm -hmm. Feel me, everything was good. Nothing, nothing bad. Nothing. Everybody, all you see is mad nails, mad <laughs> brolic chains on their necks, mad okay. big bust down chains on their neck. But besides that, it's all right. I had my little Cuban too. <laughs> I was say, but the, did you know you was linking on the second day, or the, that was the no? Um, the second day, it was basically like it, my son. My, the second day, I was. I was I was tired from last night. So I was mm -hmm. tired. I woke up. My son Rob, my manager. My son woke me up. He was like, "Yo, wake up. We better go to play ball with Drake." I said, "What?" I didn't <laughs> believe him at first. Okay. And then I just like and then I like he started waking me up. Now I took a shower. Uh -huh. I ain't put some regular drip. I put some drip on, bro. Cause I ain't gonna lie, I was a, I was I ain't gonna. Like, like, I was just shooting around. Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was I was just gonna shoot around. But for me, then I went to go. I was so bro, he apparently was chopping it up. Mm -hmm. and I was just chilling around. I, I forgot. Oh, my son, my son, um, two six was there too. Okay. My son two six, okay. yeah, my son two six. Hey y'all, I ran into him in a spot there in Miami when I was um, playing ball with Drake. Mm -hmm. Gave my son a pound. He was chopping it up. I was supposed to go actually, lock in with him, okay. but. I mean, I was, I ain't gonna lie, Miami was just too lit, bro. Well, Miami's a movie, I already yeah, know. There's a lot going on. I'm a young on. nigga, I had to go experience my life. And in New York. 
So uh, Miami was the first place I actually like traveled to. Uh -huh. Once I seen the difference, I was like, oh no. Nah. <laughs> it's lit. I remember you said you was in a mall and everybody knew you couldn't even shop. No, nah, yeah, I went no before that. Um, I t I went live. Okay. Um, I went live in my penthouse and I told them I was, oh, I'm gonna go. Now I'm gonna go to the mall. Everybody pull up. I got like when I went to the mall, it was mad kids there, bro. Mm -hmm. Like mad kids there, bro. It was kids telling their moms and dads like, like wait, and like shit like that. Like shit like that give me motivation and shit like that. Shit make like that make me keep going. When a nigga feel like he can't go. A nigga feel like he can't make it some time in life. I ain't, sometimes I ain't gonna lie, your fans make you feel better. I ain't gonna lie, my fans, they make me feel better. Yeah, but I say, y'all fans go hard. Y'all can do anything, post anything. Y'all, nah, yeah, I love all my fans, <laughs> all my fans and all my supporters, especially all the fangirls. I love all y'all. <laughs> I'm about to say, so how is it dealing with the fangirls now? I don't know. <laughs> I'll be chilling. Sometimes I'll be on the phone with them. Sometimes a little group chat, just talking, chopping it up. Regular shit, some cool shit. You send them music or nah? They don't get no music. Nah, they don't get no music. <laughs> so you get a little convo and that's it? Yeah, a little convo. Okay. Right. So you be at, you be on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, they fucking with you on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm in Twitch. Yeah, I made the world. I feel like Twitch is when we hear, started hearing you sing. Because you always singing on Twitch. Yeah, I'll be singing. <laughs> yeah, I got... Yeah, I got I dropped two singing songs, but I got more singing shit coming on the way. So, so you've been working on your singing stuff? Yeah, I be on Twitch. Twitch is just basically like when you could just be home and just chill, mm -hmm. do your your own space and just be yourself. Mm -hmm. So you like Twitch because there's no pressure. Basically. Yeah, I be on Twitch playing my game. I be chilling. I be talking on my chat. We be chilling. Talking to them, everything regular. So you feel like it's cool being able to do both, like being an artist and still being on Twitch, or you feel like you got to? What you think? Nah, I, just, I could do both. Well, you young, yeah. So I feel like you be on the game anyway. I be on the game. I be, I be, I be playing. I be playing the game. Then I be, and then you know, I be playing the game. I wake up, right? I play the game, and then when it's time to go to the studio. I just, I just, now it's time to go to the studio. You gotta okay. do what you gotta do. All right, so you be writing now, or you be freestyling? I mean, I don't really know no you more. You don't know. Because like you got I used to notes. write, I used to, like, I write on my phone, of course, uh -huh. and I write my own shit. But it was just one song I did. I didn't even write nothing. I just said, yo, play this beat. Okay. I just went in there and did the song, and I actually came out by it. Okay. All right, so what, so what motivates you now to keep going? We know the fans. I feel like you got a lot of people in your family probably looking up to you now. You making money now. So, like, what's, what motivates you to keep going? I ain't gonna lie. What motivates me to keep going? I just keep going. I'm gonna be fully honest. I keep, I just keep going. Like, I keep going for my son, for my, my, my son, Nadia, and Dot. Mm -hmm. I just keep going for them. That's who I just always do. And I always said this every interview I've been. I always, everybody that asks me, I was just always my motivation is dumb. Mm -hmm. I it's because if I stop, it feel like because I'm laying. Because if I stop, I feel like I'm laying them down. Yeah. Because they wouldn't want me to stop rapping. I'm. I mean, I made it this far for no reason. Yeah, you definitely made it. So um, so on the lighter note though, tell us like I guess one of your favorite memories with E Dot or Naughty. I ain't gonna lie, my favorite. <laughs> so I got a couple. I can't even <laughs> a say no. Clean about. one, a PG next one. Nah, <laughs> it was chilling. Man, the show. the show. My son died. The show, my son. The one that that was our yeah, first, first one, ever yeah. show. The first one. That was my first show, bro. My son died. Is really a legend. One nigga, you know, get one show right. His first show. That was like my son eat our second show. One nigga, you know. Get, like, this is his second show. And he bring out all his niggas. Like, hell, all his niggas performing. Mm -hmm. It's not a couple niggas. It's yeah. all his niggas. Even unknown niggas. Like, y'all don't even know it's all wild. <laughs> yeah. Niggas that. Feel me? That's why my son died in real heart. Yeah, I definitely looked out for everybody. 
He definitely looked out for everybody. So, like, so, congratulations on getting signed because you signed now. Thank you. So, how it walk us through signing day? Like, did you know you was going to sign? You was probably in a bidding war, right? Like, other labels wanted you? Yeah. <laughs> but but they couldn't, uh, couldn't beat my label. Okay. And um, what was it about them that you was like, nah, I'm fucking with it? My label, man, my label is just, for me, they, they, they just, they love me. Yeah. Every label love me, but, <laughs> but like, I don't know. TP. Okay. Not too much. All right, so, Sandra Dill, first big purchase. What was your first big thing you bought? Do you remember? Crib. Crib. Okay, cool. Nancy got the watch, watch. now. <laughs> okay. So that was the two big things? Yeah. And then I just got a couple of Marys. Now I'm chilling. And yeah, now you dripped out every time I see you. It's drip now. No, I was dripped <laughs> out before the, before the sound, though, know, too. I feel like I've been seeing you more since you started doing music, though. You know like, yeah, yeah, I've been. Like, I see you at video shoots, but now you're, like, at the shows, too, now, and all of that stuff. You know yeah, saying? but. Now I'm have my my own show coming soon. So yeah, you busy now. You booked and busy now. Always booked. All right. So in Sugar Hill, it's a lot of people rapping. Free Keem. Keem's locked up. But the dance went viral. But it was a edit of you doing the dance. You seen that? Yeah. So you basically made up the dance. Basically, but not my. I don't. I don't want to take not no, the not the thing, but the that's whole, my heart. The whole Free truck. Look, that's song. my heart. But like, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't say. One, I, I wouldn't yeah. say like. Yeah, I, I did the dance. It went viral. Yeah, but every, my son made that song. That yeah. song is made the song. That song. That song. If you want to go listen to that song, you're not listening to that song because Sugar L D. I dance to it. Right. You're listening to that song because it's fire and because sure. Overlook did it. But I don't take no. I, it went viral. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't mean it to go viral. It was just a regular day <laughs> on the block. Vibing. I was dancing, yeah. lying, and I, I don't know. It went viral like a month later. Yeah. And then Definitely. everybody just started dancing to it. Yeah, they had everybody doing dance. Cardi B, everybody was doing that dance. You feel me? That's, I'm a, what's that shit? Oh, I'm a trendsetter. That's what it's called. Oh. I feel like y'all definitely are. So, like, so what's coming next this year? I don't want to talk so much. People just got to watch and see. Sit back and eat some popcorn. Okay. Uh. <laughs> I sit back and eat popcorn. I'm weak. So are we getting a project? I mean, you could eat mm. your popcorn. Oh, my God. He ain't trying to get too much. Um, Nothing collabs, maybe? I, I know mean, people hit you up. I mean, like... I got a couple tracks, bro. Okay. I'm, 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 y'all gonna, a couple snippets. Everybody, tracks. one song that everybody's been waiting for, y'all, if you know my fans, know, y'all been waiting for that song for a long time. And I got y'all. This year? Song. Yeah, I got y'all. It's coming out. This year. Word. It's coming out. I clear, I'm clarifying. It's coming out. Okay. Feel me? Clear in the air. All my fans been waiting for that song, but it's a patient. So how do you feel about that when, when your fans be like wanting, wanting, wanting music? Do you feel like you got to hold it? You want to wait for the perfect time? or? Yeah, I got to wait for the perfect time because it's like, got to make sure everything's good, uh-huh. everything is situated. For me, it's a lot, a lot of things. So for me, just make sure my, my, my song will be good. And uh-huh. then after that, I'm going to drop it. And then y'all know what song I'm talking about. They know my song. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. So that song is soon come. Um. So then, and another thing I want to ask about is the um, photo shoot you had there with Dee Dee and E Dot. Was that for Drake? Mm-hmm. Right. So how was that? Like, when did you get that call? It was cold that day. <laughs> <laughs> I was brick. Okay. Yo, tch, me and my son E, I was brick, bro. I was fucking cold. Okay. It was in fucking niggas had us doing a photo shoot. Right next to the river. Like, I but that's all right. Aesthetic purpose. It was cool, though. Exactly. It was, it was worth it. So, I mean, did y'all um, know it was for Drake, or it was a surprise? Or, like, how no, did... like, we knew it knocked the world already. Like, okay, yeah. Like, you feel me? But, like, 
once we knew not though we knew it was for Drake already but mm-hmm. like we was doing a photo shoot they came we, we for first day I think the first day we went to go try it on I think before they could get all our sizes mm-hmm. and then I think like a week later or just a couple of days later was the actual photo shoot I think mm-hmm. and then the photos came in for me yeah my son Drake posted them I was fine. I was fine. I was not expecting that. I'm not gonna lie. I knew y'all was fucking with Drake, but I didn't know y'all was gonna be like a brand, branding that shit too. So that was cool. Um, Trendsetter type shit. So like, do you feel like you would make merch? I didn't make my own merch. Right? You did, right? And it said D dot on. Yeah, my shit yeah. sold out in less than a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was when y'all was performing and stuff. Yeah, when well, we had them all them shows back. All to them back. shows back to back. How was that doing the run with so talented? Cause so talented be booked up. Yeah, <laughs> it, was, it was a good, good, good road going. Like, well, it was a good experience when you in a car, mm-hmm. taking a couple hour, couple hour road, and then like to stop at the gas station, see like what's around you, other shit. For me, that's going different cities and shit like Connecticut. Yeah. Who do you who do you feel like had the most like energy? Who was the craziest crowd? Because in New Jersey they was loud too. Uh, Jersey they was loud. Boston, Boston they was crazy. Yeah, Boston, I was gonna say Boston. Boston. Not, I was not gonna. I was gonna say. I ain't gonna lie. Boston they was loud. In <laughs> Connecticut I was hot. And Jersey, it was loud. Yeah. And PA I was hot. <laughs> yeah, I mean performing. So, do you feel like you're getting better with crowd control? You know, you got a lot of female fans. You got guys too, but you got a lot of female fans. Yeah, I do have a lot of female fans, and thank you out there to all the females that support my music. But for all the guys that support my music too, I ain't, we be, I ain't, bro, they be seeing me outside. I ain't where to? They just be with their shorties. I don't know why they. Some of these shorties be really <laughs> mad. And then, for me, I don't know. It's just it's fan love. I don't know. So support. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. So, um, so a while back when you did the P Films interview, you was like how you was good off like the pranks and booba and all of them. How do you feel about seeing like everything that's happening now with them? Do you see what's going on now with them? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. No comment, bro. I ain't, bro. You know, if you know, bro, niggas play too much, bro. Niggas gonna, something like that was gonna happen to one of them niggas one day. Yeah, niggas been saying it was wildin'. You was, you was, I just respect it because you was one of the first to, like, kind of speak up on that situation. Everybody be trying to make it seem like it's cool. Like, that shit don't be cool sometimes. Nah, yeah, they be annoying. <laughs> I don't be just. I don't, I don't even. I don't even be paying them no mom, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, um, um, I said no comment about them because I don't really got nothing against them, bro. Yeah. For me, it's nothing. I have nothing against them. Bro. You just had to separate For yourself. Me, I just yeah, like I can't be around no nigga like that, bro. You know, weird old nigga like that, bro. Life is just about going up to drill rappers and just. Playing with them all day, bro. The wrong, he was gonna walk up to the wrong nigga, bro. Day, bro. Have a look, walk, walked up to the, walked up to the bro. Feel me, mm-hmm. bro. The bro is feel me, bro. Is not like us young he's niggas, grown. bro. He's grown. He's a little older, bro. Yeah. So he's not gonna take that for a joke. Feel me, yeah. and that's real shit. Yeah. Like us young niggas, we play around. That's a full, that's a full grown, grown man, man bro. Yeah. All right, so he feel me. Feel me, bro? Any grown man would do that, bro. You play what? Walk up to a grown man tell him, yo, how badly would I beat your ass? What? What? Yeah, that's a little bit far. Feel me? It's not like us, bro. We all young, bro. That was a grown ass man. I would have done the same thing, too, bro. <laughs> he apologized for it, but, yeah, you but, know, just still, too much is too much. But even on the drill rapper tip, do you feel like you're going to transition from drill music? Um, of course, bro, but, like, I'm not assuming, I'm not saying nothing, bro, but drill, like, 
trail, bro. I'm not assuming that, but I'm not saying it's gonna die out, but everything dies out. You feel me? Yeah. I'm not saying drill's gonna die out, cause we all came up off drill. This is how I made it. Nigga, I'm a mm-hmm. drill artist. You feel me? I'm, I'm gonna always keep my name as a drill mm-hmm. artist, but you feel me? You fans niggas want different shit. Yeah. I mean, yeah, niggas want different shit sometimes, yeah. bro. Like, for me, like, look, Lil Uzi, drop the, that. Just want to rock, yeah. number one in Philly right like, now. Niggas, like, niggas, <laughs> like, some niggas, like, you think that shit weird, nigga. You really listen to that shit, that shit lit. Right? Yeah, Bob, yeah. For me? But, so, can't just keep making the same thing all the time, bro. It's gonna, some people gonna get me bored. Yeah. So you're working on the singing. So for, like, I know you got a lot of supporters, but you also got a lot of haters. How do you feel about the people that say your music isn't that good? Suck my dick. <laughs> I get more money than you. That's it. That's, okay. And then, um, but you said, but you're working on more singing music. New music coming. You're not giving us a project date, but that song that we really want is on the way. And the show is coming up a little dark, right? Mm-hmm. So, like in six, seven days. Countdown begins. And my B day on a countdown too. Don't worry. My sh- that sh- show on the third, and my shit like four days after. Mm-hmm. My show on the eighth. You got a place where you want to celebrate? I know you have to say have fun in Miami. Like yeah, I love somewhere? Miami, bro. I don't know for my fans in Miami. If, if I go to Miami for my birthday, y'all might see me for my birthday. <laughs> me i love all y'all all right and then you also won best new artist this year your thank fans you. voted for you i guess sending a message send your fans a message i really thank y'all so much because y'all really sit down and listen to my music like i remember back then and i i used to get like 10k views now i'm getting big numbers so mm-hmm. now like when i'll be a dolo in my crib like now people dead ass sit down and like my music for me mm-hmm. so now that i won you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying feel mm-hmm. good hard work paid off nah yeah hard work always pay off for me it's not a time when it don't pay off hard work always gotta get give you your money back okay so yeah and then you and Didi won song of the year was you expecting that or was that did that catch you by surprise nah yeah you caught me by surprise <laughs> i ain't really like i ain't really I ain't really know. I thought I only had this one. You just, I ain't, I ain't know I had that until you showed me. Yeah. So the fans voted for that one too. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I know. Y'all love Foys and Nines. I love all y'all every time we at the shows. Y'all go crazy That's that every one. time that yeah. song. That's the last song before we can shut the show down. Y'all know I love y'all. I know y'all love that song. <laughs> y'all know the vibes. What is it? How many views that shit got right now? Like 13, 13, 14? Over 10, I know that. Over 10, that's not bad. Not bad. I love all y'all. Thank y'all for, for me. <laughs> and then, what um, is it now? Tell the people where to find you, with it, how they could tune into your new music and all that good stuff. Yo, bro. Because your page is down again, bro. bro. I think I was tagging the wrong person. Then you hit me. I was like, oh, shit, this is page now. Because you haven't been using it like that. You ain't really posting on it either. Bro. Are you over Instagram? Like, what's up? <laughs> I, don't, I don't really. To be honest, I don't. I don't even really be on the media. I just do my music shit, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't got time to be looking at the media and shit. But like, I don't, I be on the media, but like, I don't post. Like, I don't. I don't post nothing. Like, there's nothing to be posted. Just gotta support my music. That's what I support on my Instagram. Even and like I be like on some scary shit on my Instagram. Like, I don't be wow. trying to do no because you don't want to get banned again. Even even if like yeah, it's just it's just disabled right now. I'm gonna get it back, but mm-hmm. I don't wanna. I I be too. Frisky you wanna keep it business? Shit. Yeah, I be too okay. frisky with that shit. Okay. Keep that shit. So you are gonna be chilling, going live and all that? Even on my backup, bro. I ain't even post, bro. Like I just be chilling. Oh, yeah. I feel like you enjoying it. You enjoying the fame. You enjoying the bread. You traveling. You doing shows. It's a lot going on. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that show, March third. 
Oh, so much there for me. Sandy, Masantiri, Masanturk, Vago, because I think Cheyah going to. Yeah, Is Dirk your favorite artist or not? I ain't gonna lie, yeah. Because we be playing Drake song. I mean, Lil Dirk songs in your story a lot. Yeah, I be, I be, I ain't gonna lie. Dirk is like, Dirk and Baby is my favorite artist. Right now, yeah. Not right now. They've been for like a year already. I've been listening to them for like a year already. Mm, okay, okay. You got a favorite Dirk song or not? Favorite Dirk song? I ain't gonna lie. My favorite Dirk song is Fabric. Okay. Fabric and right now, Changes. And my favorite little baby song is Russian Roulette. Mm-hmm. Fire. So any last words you want to tell the people? Tell the world, tell the fans? Man, y'all know the vibes already on me, man. Y'all know I love all my fans, all my supporters. And for the haters, y'all can suck my dick. Y'all keep watching. For me. And nothing better y'all could do. For me, y'all know the vibes. I'm a talk of the town. Yeah. I know the vibes, man. It's that little D.I. nigga, man. Everything for die, everything for naughty. 